So what do we have here is what is a system of equations, all right? So yeah. Um, previously, what we've kind of talked about is, wow, that marker's not going to work. Maybe try light baby blue. All right. So pretty much what we have here is an equation, right? So when I solve this equation, we would solve for our variable by using our inverse operations. So we'd say 3x equals 12. We'd divide by 3, and we'd say, all right, to make this equation true, actually, let me solve it here. This equation is true when x equals 4. And that is what we called our solution. Now, a system of equations is when we're going to have two or more equations that we're going to have to solve for. Now, here's kind of the kicker here. All right. Um, when we also dealt with equations, let's say maybe I have 5x plus 4y equals 15. Now, this is what we call the literal equation because what we had is we had two or more variables in this equation. So if I was going to solve for x, y would be in my answer. I wouldn't actually get a numeric value in this example. So if I wanted to now say, so on previously like my other example, if I had 3x equals 12, here I just isolate the variable and solve. Well, here, I, if I isolate the variable, that's fine, but I'm still going to solve with a variable still in the answer. So when we, wanna ha when we have one or more equations, what we need to do to solve is what we call a system of equations. Now, we can't just like make up our equations. However, if I said, what is um, solving a system of equations? If I have two variables, to solve for both those variables, I'm going to have to have two equations. So let's pretend that here is one equation, and then here would be another equation. All right, now, I did just make these up. And we're going to go through problems where I don't make up the problems. But this is a system of equations. Whenever you have two or more equations, you have a system of equations. And the reason why systems of equations are so helpful is because you can see we have an x and a y. So when I want to solve, not just solving for x, but if I want to solve for x and y, I need to have at least two equations to then I'll be able to solve for the x value and for the y value that are going to make not just one equation true, but both of these equations true. And let's just say, let's just say I add another variable, z. Well, if we have three variables and we want to see when are all three variables true for all three equations, we're also going to want to have a third equation. Now, I know I might confuse you because you're like, where are you getting these numbers? Don't worry about my numbers. I'm going to go through how to solve systems of equations. But the main important thing I want you to understand is a system of equations is when we have two or more equations and we're going to solve, find the solutions of them. And again, we use systems of equations when we want to solve for two or more variables. And again, remember, one, you know, the easiest thing I remember for college professor, if you have two variables, you need two equations. If you have three variables, you need three equations. And that's how we're going to be solving our systems of equations, because they're not just going to be like a regular equation where we just have one variable. Now we're going to have multiple variables to solve for, so we're going to be using multiple equations. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's my definition of systems of equations. Thanks.